Hi everyone, Mark here on Creating Your Digital Life. So today I wanted to uh, discuss actually a quite important topic, which is why you should consider creating a digital life of yourself, but not in the classical sense, as in browsing through social media and all that kind of uh, platforms, but rather creating content that reflects your interests, your passion, and your uh, point of views that you can share with potentially future employers. Why am I saying this? Well, let's start by saying that we are still stuck in this old-fashioned system where people keep going to jobs with their resumes printed out or potentially sent over uh, digitally in a PDF document. And this system actually used to work back in the, let's say, 70s, 80s, and the 90s as well. But things have changed, especially since last year. We're heading towards a more digitalized world where things are more uh, based on the internet and what you do there as opposed to what is shown on a piece of document. Because let's face it, the document that you're going to hand in is not going to be a true and authentic insight into who you actually are. So what do the employers do more and more these days? They go on Google, Facebook, anywhere and look the person, the candidate up to get a better idea of who they are. So this is actually one of the main reasons why you should consider creating something that reflects your point of view, that you are passionate about, and that can actually help them decide if you would be a good fit in a cultural or any kind of sense, to say the least. So what are the ways to do this? One of the things that I would find really useful is potentially creating a blog or any kind of, uh, let's say, video series. The one that I'm doing right now, for instance. And what you can do is start doing this on a regular basis. Talk about the topics that you want to share and potentially educate people on. Make Maybe shed some light on some less, so, uh, less well-known things. That was a difficult one to get it out, anyway. And um, just be yourself. The thing is though, the more you do it, the easier it's going to become because you're getting more accustomed to it. It's actually going to become something that you enjoy. And by doing so, you're creating a better digital image of yourself as well, rather than just posting all this random stuff on Facebook of having a good time out, potentially getting drunk, you never know, but also, that uh, kind of thing will be contradicted and will be balanced off with, you know, the blogs and all that stuff. However, I would also recommend being very careful of what you post either on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these kind of platforms, because that will also be shown on the Google searches or whether you are actually on LinkedIn, potentially. You need to follow the kind of groups, the kind of people that would let's say uh, represent the same ideas and values that you also want to learn more about. So if the company is uh, within, uh, I don't know, renewable energy resources or any kind of uh, stuff like that, then if you follow the same kind of people, the same kind of groups, you share those kind of viewpoints and discussions, then chances are you're gonna have better uh, qualification and a better chance of being hired for that kind of job rather than just putting it on the CV how many years you've spent at universities or any kind of courses on getting the knowledge that you have because actions always speak louder than words that is something that needs to be taught and needs to be emphasized time and time again so to give you an example of what I'm doing, apart from the video series, I have my own website and I have blogs that people can read and uh, have more insight on how to, let's say, create videos with the help of uh, one of the video editing tools. Or for instance, the certain tips and techniques that I teach on life hacks and those kind of stuff. So just to have a happier, more fulfilling, and at the same time, a more, let's say, a more successful life, if I put it this way. I don't want to sound a bit, um, uh, you know, full of myself, but that's the thing, way it is. So just to help them necessarily see the things that they may not recognize, the small details that can help them make a big change, uh, bring about a big change, rather than just 
you know, sitting in front of uh, videos and just scro scrolling through all that kind of content. So this way, what I like to conclude is, if you are going to spend your time on the computer several hours a day, you should be creating something that reflects you as a person. I know it's a hustle at the beginning, but if you keep doing it, coming back to it again and again and again, after a while, it's not going to seem like a hustle. It's going to seem like, you know, something as a part of your daily routine. So with that said, I hope you gain some kind of insight. And if you would like to learn something uh, about something in your next video, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, feel free to subscribe for more content. And until the next one, I hope you have a nice day. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you then.